Scooby is a dog that I worked on that is very, very special to me for a number of reasons. The main reason right now is because he doesn't have a home. What we have here is a dog that is not a bad dog. It's simply a dog that's lacking any type of structure, any type of connection, any type of guidance. Before we get into the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just give you the, the format or the layout for how I decided to edit this video. Simple concept, three parts. So you have the before, during, and after working with Dream Come True Canine. The, the beginning part is bad. I'm gonna show you the worst of it and I'm gonna show you the, the progress he's made in, in, in the six days that I worked with him. If you know anyone out there that can help, please, please uh, contact me. So Scooby was a death row rescue from the Manhattan ACC. So what were the um, the details with this other place that he was at? They, they were supposed to train him? And so then... yeah, kennels in uh -huh. Pennsylvania, and they were supposed to board him and do an hour worth of training every day. They deemed him too aggressive to okay. be able to train, and they put him in a no contact area of the kennel. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Um, Okay, how can I help you? Uh, what is it exactly that you're looking for? What we're looking for in order to, to have him become an adoptable dog is no pulling on the leash. <laughs> Running towards other dogs because we're not sure how he'll react to them. <laughs> No, um, like going for uh, going for people and grabbing. He's very mouthy. And that's basically what I'm looking for for him in order to, to be able to place him in a home. That should not be a problem. Let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, so I feel that one of the most important things to focus on in order to get a dog on the right path to becoming a dream come true canine is really the walk. The walk is very, very important for a, a number of reasons. And what I noticed was the, the preparation and, and the setup or really the lack of setup for his walks, which led to his pulling, to his aggression, to his going after other dogs. And uh, let's actually take a look at that. Mm. All right. All right, buddy. Come on, we're gonna go out. <laughs> take a look at the difference. Notice what I did and the reaction as a result to that. All right, all right. Stop. Stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. I want to get him nice and calm before taking him out. Ah. Yeah, I understand. Good boy. We want him to learn that just because he sees someone doesn't mean he can jump on him for play, for bite, for anything. For him being in this area, he gets awarded with a long and exciting walk. We, we want to create a calm environment so that level of excitement doesn't lead into that aggression because that excitement right now is what's causing the bad behavior. Ah. So what we're showing him right now is that the calmer dog gets rewarded. What you're gonna see in the rest of this video is the end result and the possibilities. This was done in only six to seven days. So now we have him with the muzzle off, which is good. All I did was simply provide guidance through leadership and leadership through guidance to show him how to coexist with my structure. He desperately needs a home. Scooby's a great dog. 
all his behavioral problems were just from a lack of structure and a lack of guidance. If you have a dog that's living on his own, not able to trust anybody, going from crate to crate, from kennel to kennel, with no one to turn to for trust or leadership, and, and, and that's simply what I provided for him. thinking you know happy and just tired and, and content and provided for that's good so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the dogs up for feeding time so I'm gonna show you how I set them up really quickly sit it's good we sit down stay and now we're just gonna play the waiting game I'm gonna step away the foods in front of him and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and tell Scooby okay Scooby go ahead Soko go ahead Now we have them eating their food, no aggression, just to go ahead and show you that there's no aggression. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pet him, mess with him a little bit, then I'm actually gonna even take his food away. So right now the dog's just finished eating, we lifted up their bowls. What I wanted to show you and get on film was just how calm they are together, just laying down, content. We went for exercise today, we were out on a walk for over an hour, and uh, you see Soko just laying down, you see Scooby just kind of being being a pup the important thing here is that the muzzle's off it's like it's like it's like looking at a completely different dog i mean it's like right. it's it's unbelievable that the the um the the amount of progress th that he's made in such a short period of time it's like i would have never a week ago thought that he was capable of being this type of dog it makes me smile on the inside a little bit to know that like it wasn't impossible all we're looking for is someone that um, can adopt him that understands what he needs in order to to be fulfilled to remain stable and uh, You just need to provide structure for him bottom line Hopefully, you know someone out there or maybe you are that someone um, Please please help us because uh, Scooby has no place to go